Yo, good morning, how are you? Good to see you guys. Hey, JD here. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that last vlog. I am on vlog number 52 for you guys. I love you. I hope you guys are doing great. I hope you're doing good. Man, what about, we're getting so much closer, 56 days until we take this bike ride. We are going from Dover, New Hampshire to San Diego, California. Phone ya. I don't know who's gonna be there waiting for me, but it's gonna be awesome if you're there. If you're there, please be there. Please be there. I'd love to see you. It's not gonna be till January though. Yo, check out vlog 52. We get it in. Ah! This is sweet. Okay, just got the uh, video done. Vlog number 51 is in the books. It's done. It's there. It's waiting for you guys to go check it out. So, vlog 52 is right here. That's what we're doing today. We are vlogging away our life. We're going to pick up a um, thing right now. I just dried out. Look, I just dried out the jersey I wore yesterday on the car in the sun. It was awesome. And now we're going to go pick up a, from Steph, we're going to go get, um, oh, what is it called? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What is it called? Saddlebags for the bicycle. Saddlebags for the bicycle. I keep looking over there because I think it's over that way, but it's not. It's over this way. <gasps> Saddlebags. But first, let's go to Walmart and let's get us some five-hour energy because we need that. Oh, we do need five-hour energy. Also, on a side note, I'm going to shave because I need to shave because, I mean, what the F are you doing, Jimmy? We're going to be like Forrest Gump. We're not going to shave this whole trip when I go on the bike ride and I'm just going to get to California and be like, boom, I got a bush on my face. Six and a half hours later. Viva la raza, yo. Me gusta morico, me gusta el acento de la colombiana. Lo rico que me tengo y la venezolana. Andamos. Yo, by the way, today's video is brought to you by Two Home Cooks. See my hat? It's pretty sick. If you get down there, Dover, New Hampshire, they have some good stuff. You get breakfast all day and uh, way better than IHOP, so get down there and get you some. Yo, I feel like at this point I should basically be a representative for a stack or two because I buy so much of it. I just do. I just stack or two. You know what I'm saying? Wait, can I? Are these working? Are these all work? <laughs> Yo, what up guys? Uh, just got out of Walmart. Like I said, I was going in there. Just got out and I uh, just almost broke my cord. Don't break the cord, Jimmy. And I got my two shot stacker. <sighs> Yo, we're sitting here. I gotta see my buddy. Look at my buddy. Look at what, man? Yo, it's my boy right here. Yo, look at these. Look at these. He's watching. Yo, there's a in squad. Yo, let's go. Found it. Ah, sick. <laughs> What up guys, yo, you uh, ever seen that commercial where the guy's like, yo, you almost had it there, the fisherman? Yeah, well, this guy, he almost had it too. He almost had it. He had a sick car, and he almost had it until he parked on the yellow line. Like, he was, he was about six inches. Actually, that's like a foot. And he would have been in the spot, but he, he didn't make it. He just did not make it. I mean, bro, you were so close. You almost had it. All you had to do was pull over a little. Oh, maybe it's because his tires are illegal. Ah, not my minivan though. Yeah, that ain't looks good, huh? A few moments later. Sure, and Williams, you need to hire me, dude. If you don't want to paint or you can't paint it, it's cool. Like, if you need somebody to paint, I can I can do it. I gotta go ask my boy. They might they might need some help, like painting the rest of this. Maybe I can cut it. I don't know. Let's go see my boy, my boy Adam. Yo, where's my boy Adam? Is the other Adam here? He's not. I was just gonna tell him, be like, yo, I, like if you need me to help you paint the Sherwin Williams store, I got you. Anytime. You just yeah, let me know. He actually doesn't even work here anymore. Come on! What happened? You guys let him go, huh? He's out. No, He's gone. Just just yeah. Nice. Good. Okay, cool. All right, sweet. Uh, you didn't tell you didn't tell me that, Adam. That's great. Thanks, bro. Appreciate that. Yo, I don't know if you guys know, but it's like really hot outside. Oh, I can't wait till it snows out. Said no one ever. <laughs> oh, it's so nice. Oh, it's so nice. What up, bro? He didn't even wave because he's mad. Look who I just ran into. Steffi! Hi, hi, hi. Ha, ha, ha. It's just, it's just sweet. It is 5,000 degrees in here. Yo, look at this bike real quick. So we've got the bags, saddle bags, got these sweet little titty blinkers on it. And then we got, look at it, it's like a backpack basically. That's what it is. Came with all these tools. 
And uh, the bike is like from 1937, same as uh, the owner of it. Um, 19 oh, <laughs> just kidding. Two hours later. Like final destination type stuff. Final destination. All right, let's go see my people in here. These are, my, if you guys haven't noticed, like everybody are my people. You guys are my people. I'm your, you, the, everybody is my people. And I love that. I love that. My people. But honestly, I just want to get some gas and I want to get some food. And then I got to go, uh, I got to call Funtown Splashdown because I got to get some tickets. You know what I'm saying? I got to get some tickets. My man. Found it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm famous, you just don't know it yet. I like it. Oh yeah. I like yeah, it. Yeah, he likes my shirt. Famous, you just don't know it yet. You guys don't know it either, but you're gonna know, because down the road, might be three years, it could be 10 years. Doesn't matter, it could be tomorrow, you never know. You get the phone call to go to Hollywood, and you just go. I don't know what's wrong with my eye right now. Got itches there. Okay, we're good. Yo, let me tell you guys a story real quick. Once upon a time, I drove a bicycle. 42 miles to see Tanya and she wasn't there because she doesn't work there anymore she floats and I messaged her and she thought it was funny I thought we were friends but apparently she just thinks it's a big joke so you know what I'm not driving back there again ever again on my bicycle I will only come to Dover Subway, and if she's not working, that's okay. Look at all the vegetable Subway. Oh, they're hiring, look. Hiring. A few moments later. Guys, if you don't know how to change your own tire at this point in your life, like this person, like, I'm sorry, but you need to learn how to change your tire. Do it yourself, because you'd be out of here a lot faster than waiting for AAA. I know you pay for it, I get it. But still, really, jack your car up, take off the lug nuts, and stick the new tire on. It's really the simplest thing that you can do besides pour a cup of coffee. All right, we're going to go into uh, Philbrick Sports real quick, and we're going to see if they'll pump my tire up for me, which I, hopefully they will. My tire basically went flat, and I don't even know why it went flat. So it literally just, I put the thing on it, and then it just went flat. And that was it. That's all I got. So now we got to go in here and have them pump it. Okay, so we just went into Philbrick's and they're reviewing the uh, thing that I sent them. They're reviewing it. And that's awesome. That's good. I'm so excited. I asked them if we could do a little tradesy or a, a donation of them putting my trike together and making it look all good and everything else. And they were like, maybe we could do that. That would be awesome. All right, it's on my fire. All right, now I gotta go see uh, my boy George up in uh, Earth's Harvest. Yo, Earth's Harvest, kitchen juicery. And there's still, a snowblower up on the roof and I still I don't know I think it's because they don't want the roof to get heavy so they don't want it to like cave in but I still haven't figured that out all right so my boy George is not here today uh, we're gonna come back tomorrow again can we just talk about you can't even see it but there's a snowblower on the roof there's 99 degrees outside we need a snowblower on the roof I guess they just keep it up there. I want to know how, first of all, I want to know how they got it up there. That's what I would like to know because it's, I just want to see the process on how that happens. It'd be pretty cool to actually to watch them lift that snowblower or somebody just chucked it up there like and it was an Iron Man strongman competition or something. They were like, Zoom! legit snowblower on the roof. How does that happen? I have no idea. Dude. I didn't even know it was there. You just taught me something. Okay, now we're going to go into uh, Hilltop Fun Center. And we're going to set this up. We're going to do a vlog tomorrow for you guys. It's going to be awesome. <gasps> It's gonna be here, the hilltop. It's gonna be sick. We're gonna have fun, and I uh, just gotta find out what uh, what we're gonna do at time. You know what I'm talking. All right, so we got the tickets for tomorrow. It's gonna be sweet, hilltop fun center. We're gonna be doing our vlog tomorrow for you guys right here, hilltop fun center. It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna have a great time. We're gonna have fun because that's what it's all about. And we're gonna get uh, ten tickets to go in there, and ten tickets for whoever I bring with me, whoever wants to come with me. So let's go talk to my boy real quick. Chat, bro. What are you doing? Is this pimp my ride? Because I need it. This is probably the best part of Todd. One of the best parts of Todd's touch is that he has this sick plastic chain that runs over and protects people from getting in the garage. It's my personal, one of my personal favorites. How you doing, bro? What's going on? Oh, you know, another great day in America. Right? Yeah. So apparently we're in a uh, parking lot that is for people to kind of hang out in. Chris, real quick. My boy Chris is up here at my mobile. And, 
because uh, that's where he works. He actually owns part of the business, so then he's gonna uh, he's in there just chilling, working, probably getting it on in there, right? No, I don't know. Maybe he may, he might be. Let's go check him out. See what he's doing. We'll do it. This guy just he's a rock star. Yo, this is my boy Chris. My oh boy. Hey, what's up, no, what's up man? Yeah, my boy Chris at my mobile here in Rochester, New Hampshire. Free plug, free plug. Yeah, I want to do things a little bit different real quick, and I wanted to just point out the sign because Chris Cortez and everybody else is just taking pictures of the sign, but I wanted to do a video of the sign, and I'm going to read it to you. It says, my bed is a magical place where I suddenly remember everything I forgot to do. Like, God dang, Harvey's Tire, Rochester, New Hampshire. If you don't know and you've never seen it, you need to get over here and take a picture because they got some good stuff. Maybe next time I'll be the voyage. It's Harvey's Tire. All right, I just want to clear the air here. I said Harvey's Tires. It's not Harvey's, it's Hervey's. I messed that up totally. You check it out. Like, it's Hervey's Tires, guys, not Harvey. I'm an idiot. Hervey's, James. Hervey's. Ah. All right, let's go see my boy Steve. Steve owns Union Street Trading Post. Buy, sell, trade. We're gonna go see what he's doing because I was here the other day and I wanted to, you know, check out what he's got in his store. No! Steve, I come here one day, bro, and you're not in your store. That's cool. Really cool. All right, whatever. Yo, Steve, I'm gonna want this. I want this Atari. <sighs> so I can play games on it, of course. I literally had one of these. Look at it. This is Sega Genesis. This is a, uh, like a mega arcade paddle, basically. Just to like get all your fingers on there and you can do like real crazy with it. You got nail guns, you got screw guns, you got paint guns, you got any kind of gun you want except for a real gun, right? You guys don't care, you can't carry weapons here? No, we don't. Don't carry here, no guns here. Unless you try to steal from them, then you're getting a nine in the butt. Just kidding, that's not true. Yo, check this out. This is sweet. And there's never quit. I like that. You guys can't see it though. Alright, sweet, there it is. Yo, so this is a pump, right? I could carry that on my bike. Look battery charged pump up the tire <laughs> yo oh look who just came to the shop to say hello good hello. to see you dude hello how are you doing what's up man how you doing good how are you good ah, well. union street trading post rochester new hampshire what's the address here for union street for union street is that a cop no, it's not. It's not a cop. Just kidding. Yo, look at he signed it. Where'd you sign it? Right oh, the cute cozy guy. <laughs> the cute guy. <laughs> Yo, let's go, Steve. Oh, Steve. Oh. All right. End of the day. We're going to Walmart one last time. This is like the third, I think, time today. Might be the second. I don't know. But if you guys get a chance, make sure you follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube page. As always, I love you. Stay happy, stay humble, and above all, make somebody smile. Walmart, I'm coming for you. See you guys tomorrow, Vlog 52.